Okay, I'm going to do a topic on weather, which is one of my favorite topics. And it's related to physics, actually, so this is pretty cool. So how does high pressure result in fair weather often on a weather map and low pressure results in rain? So you've all seen on the weather maps, you have those big H's, right? The big H is the high pressure like this, right? And the big L is the low pressure on the weather map. And um, why is it that when you have low pressure, it's often associated with rain? And the reason is this. This is it's pretty cool. Uh, it's, it's all physics. The reason is that high pressure uh, is going to put more atmospheric pressure down upon the Earth. So what happens is you have the sun here, and the sun will uh, basically radiate down onto the Earth. So I'm going to make it an orange here so you can see it. So we'll use that color. Okay, so the sun will radiate down. So let's just say you have the sun here. Okay, and it's going to send uh, radiation down to the Earth. Okay, so it's going to send these rays down. Okay, and what color should we draw these? Let's draw these rays in like a, a, an orange here. Okay, so it's going to send these rays down to the Earth. Okay, what's going to happen? Well, the ground is going to absorb these and it's going to start to give off some heat. Okay, so the ground's going to start to release some heat. And what's going to happen is that air can start to rise. And when that air rises, uh, what happens is you get clouds. Okay, so you get clouds because that air will rise, that parcel of air. If there's enough humidity in the air, that air is going to try to start to rise. Now, a big thunderstorm will allow that air to rise all the way up to the tropopause or the troposphere where they where they interact there and uh, create these huge thunderstorms right so what determines whether you're going to get a lot of rain or not well it de what determines is, is whether you have high or low pressure in the atmosphere uh, what happens is when you have high pressure there's a lot of pressure pushing down atmospheric pressure pushing down onto these clouds so when they try to go up they can't they get blocked right and low pressure, uh, there's just not as much pressure pushing down on the, uh, you know, the parcels of air, so they can rise higher and create these thunderstorm clouds, right? Because there's just nothing pushing down upon them, and then they can uh, create a lot of rain. Okay, so that's why when you have low pressure, it's associated with thunderstorms. This principle is also used in in uh, buildings to prevent people in upper upper floors, like penthouses, uh, from basically dying from smoke and a fire and the way that that works is this like if there's a uh, there's a building say there's a building like this like uh, just do like a high-rise tower like this and let's say that on the first floor there's a fire right so let's say that down here there's a fire down here and there's people uh, inside of the building obviously on different floors right so let's say there's people up here there's people up here uh, one of the biggest dangers of a fire is smoke, right? So this fire is burning down here, and pretty soon uh, what's going to happen is the smoke is going to start to try to come up, and these people up here will be trapped up here, right? They're up here, they're trapped, and the smoke is going to start to rise. So what some of these, these high-tech buildings do, especially in the stairwells when there's a fire, what it does is it seals off the building, right? And then it creates a high pressure in the building, and that basically, that high pressure starts to push down on the building so the smoke cannot rise at all. Okay, so what happens is the smoke will stop rising because the building will create a high pressure. So they use the same principle that's used in the weather, right, to basically save people in the event of a fire to keep this, the smoke down. So they use that in, in certain buildings. I mean, in high-tech buildings, they, if they can seal off the building and increase the pressure, they can keep that smoke from rising up higher in the building. So that's just a basic uh, in, you know, introduction of why does high pressure result in fair weather, low pressure result in rain, and then here's a basic application how that can be used to save people in the event of a fire.